that was even better. Hey, hey, welcome to my channel. My name is Ken and I'm on a journey to lose as much weight as I possibly can so I can become a fat guy no more. Well, week four, week four of May is officially over here. Um, yeah, it was, it was a week. <laughs> um, got a lot to talk about with it. Um, but yeah, it was, uh, it was an interesting one for sure. So, um, yeah, well, let's just, uh, you know, let's just jump right in. Let's start off with treadmill tracking. Funny how it can go sometimes um, like the first few minutes of that walk I'm like yeah you know I didn't even want to come in here today um, I had breakfast this morning and I just felt so bleh, 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 bleh. Um, but I forced myself in and uh, like I said the first few minutes I was like wow live wire ready to go um, with about five minutes left of the 15 minute walk I um, was like, you know, I could probably do another one of these. Um, and then those last few seconds, I'm like, yeah, I'm ready to be done. Just ready to be done. Either way, it don't matter. I got my walk in today. That's all that matters. So quite happy about that. As I kind of alluded to there right at the end of that walk this was day number seven for me seven straight and actually eight walks in seven days um, but seven straight days that is my first time having ever done seven straight days and this walk today for whatever reason felt amazing absolutely amazing um, I know it's not a whole lot of speed difference but I walked most of it at 1.2 miles per hour, part of it at 1.3, and even bumped it as high as 1.4. It was just a little too much for me to maintain, um, so I bumped it back down to 1.3, did most of it that way, and then back down to 1.2. So I probably averaged 1.2, I'll put that right here um, once I see it. Um, but yeah, it was a great walk, absolutely great walk. Again, seven straight days, my new record, and eight walks in seven days so yeah I couldn't be happier at this point so honestly probably the best thing of my week was the fact that I ended up with seven straight can you hear that I don't know if you guys can hear that but it's storming outside pretty good right now that was a decent clap of thunder um, but anyways uh, that was even better hopefully you could hear that so as I was saying, about the only decent thing with the week was that I got seven straight days in on the treadmill. Um, that was a big accomplishment for me. I'll talk more about that at my end of May, um, my results, you know, for the entire time. Um, but I can say that seven straight days just, it had me in tears. I mean, if you know me, I cry a lot anyways. That just made me so proud. So i um, very glad I got that. But that's where all the fun ended. It was a tough week. It really was. I mean, um, I really probably should have taken an extra shot. I didn't do it. I refused. I do have two 10 milligram shots in reserve just in case I need kind of a go between. And I waited and waited and I just didn't end up doing it. Um, but I probably should have because just a few days after taking my last 12.5 milligram shot, um, the food noise started coming back. And then my wife brought in a block of Tillamook cheese into the house and then a bag of pretzels 
And even though I put it all, you know, into my fitness pal, um, calories didn't bother me. I've talked about that, I don't know how many times throughout my videos that the calories don't bother me. I don't care if I go high on calories. It's better to go high than low really, um, but it's the sodium, that salt that gets me. And at one point this week, my sodium for the day was as high as about 1,450 milligrams. Um, that was um, eye-opening to say the least. So I knew I had to work on that. Yeah, I don't know. That kind of ticked me off, to be honest. I allowed myself to do that. It was just simply three ounces of cheddar cheese, which has about 200 or so milligrams of sodium per ounce. And if you really looked at an ounce of cheese, have you honestly sliced off a block of cheddar like that and weighed out one ounce? There's like hardly anything there. It's like see-through. Um, so of course I couldn't have just one ounce, so I had to have a couple and that led into another one. And I think I would have been okay with that, but then the pretzels, I've been craving something to snack on, um, which I think I've taken care of that now. Um, between that and something else I made, which will be in a video somewhere down the line, I, I don't know when, but um, yeah, that was just annoying, absolutely annoying to me. It did, you know, cause me to swell, and uh, I'll show you some pictures of that here in a moment. But let's jump in and look at the numbers. I don't know if it's that storm or what, but I forgot to mention my total calories for the week. I averaged 1,390 on a target of 1,300, so I was up just a little bit. All right, so during that time, I averaged 84 grams of protein per day. Just 39 grams of fiber. Yeah, that was just slightly under where I want to be at a minimum. So I got to work on that one, that's for sure. My potassium was down as well at 36.44. Yeah, target's 4,000, so I definitely missed that one by quite a bit, honestly. And so I've got to work on that. I got to keep and be more mindful of my day to day to make sure I'm hitting that target for sure. And my sodium for this week came in at 1,394. So yeah, that was quite a ways over where I want to be. But, but I will say, I'm very proud of myself for putting everything in. That has been, like I said, one of my challenges for the month of May is to make sure that I enter into my fitness pal every single thing I eat. Um, so no matter what it is, no matter what it does, no matter how bad it makes me look at times, um, I wanted to make sure to put that in, and I did, and now I can see exactly what it did to me. It pushed my sodium up almost 200 milligrams per day on average. So what did that do then? Um, I mentioned the swelling. Well, let's take a look at these two pictures here. This first one is of my leg and one of the braces that I have on it um, as of about a week and a half, two weeks ago. Um, notice how I can shove my hand all the way down there. You can see my fingers in the opening. Um, yeah, it's getting quite loose. I do have an appointment on June 4th to get these looked at to see if we can either adjust them somehow or uh, get new ones made even if that's what it takes. So hopefully, hopefully, uh, I'll know more on June 4th. But you can see how loose it is there and that's with those Velcro straps pulled as tight as I can go. And then look at this one. I could barely even shovel tips of my finger down inside that thing. That's how much I've gone up, how much fluid I am retaining. Just look at the differences there. I mean, that's just insane, really, when you think about it. And that's why I always talk. I'm not worried about calories. I can burn those off. It's the sodium. Sodium, to me, will do just like you saw it do. It'll make me swell, it'll hold on to that fluid, and then it takes several days to get it off of me, and it still hasn't done it yet. So, with that said, let's take a look at the scale and see what all that did to me. So what that did for me on the scale is I threw a goose egg. Absolutely nothing, down zero. Um, I guess I should be happy, honestly, to know that I'm that swollen and yet I'm even. I mean, that's good, right? I mean, hopefully that means then once I finally release all of that fluid, 
that I'll go down some and maybe it'll be a big drop. I don't know. Um, the only thing I do know 100% certain is that I've got to make sure I stay away from those things like that cheddar cheese and those pretzels. And I know what it's going to do to me if I do have it. So I got to got to be better at that. You know, again, I sound like a broken record. It's not the calories. It's that salt. I hear and see so many people on the Facebook groups wonder why they're not losing weight, yet they're consuming a massive amount of salt. There are those electrolytes out there that just have like a thousand milligrams per serving. And there are people that'll drink two or three of those a day and get like 3,000 milligrams on top of whatever they're eating. And they just don't understand what it does to their body. I know that not everybody is as sensitive to sodium as I am, but that could very well be a big culprit as to why you're staying swollen and you're retaining fluid and that scale is not moving down. This week, for me, it was a classic example. Let's check the radar, see what's going on out there. Holy cow. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, we are. I don't know if we can see this or not. Let me see if I can get it to focus on. We are right there in the middle of it. So yeah, awesome. It's uh, it it sounded it sounded pretty impressive out there. Nothing, nothing that I would want to go out storm chasing on. This is just some rain, a little bit of thunder and lightning. But uh, yeah, it is uh, it is this time of year in the state of Oklahoma. So um, here before long, we're going to be in the triple digits heat, and so we'll be wishing for these cooler days. And when I say cooler, I mean it's just 83 outside. <laughs> just you know, again triple digits are coming and it won't take too long and we'll be wishing for days like this. Anyway, week four is done. Um, we're just going to keep moving on. Got three more days left of this month. So to, uh, to do it, I will follow this up with a um, shorter end of the month and results, overall results. So um, yeah, you know, looking forward to seeing what it says then. And then we can move into June. You know, I, I don't think I'm going to set a challenge for the month of June. I think I'm just going to keep on keeping on and then maybe July or August I'll throw another one out there. I don't know quite yet. Um, we'll see. We'll see what it brings. But as always, I appreciate you coming by and checking out this video and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to follow me on my journey to become a fat guy no more, hit that subscribe button and don't forget to hit that bell so you can get notifications every time I upload a new video.